if you are among the millions taking statins and medication to lower your cholesterol, it's crucial to be aware of potential interactions with supplements. And today, we are exploring the significant interactions between statins and five supplements in detail. And I have a bonus tip at the end about what to look for when you buy a supplement. Drugs can interact not just with each other, but they can interact with food, can they interact with drinks and potential herbal remedies and supplements. As you know, statins have been around for more than 30 years and are prescribed to lower the risk of a heart attack, uh, strokes and peripheral vascular disease, blockage in the arteries going to your legs. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, your trusted cardiologist and heart patient myself. Let's dive in. And number five, red yeast rice. Red yeast rice is a product of red rice fermented with specific strains of yeast. And they create a natural uh, low-dose statin, very similar to lovastatin, a prescription drug. And has a long history of use in traditional Chinese medicine. It's also found in culinary dishes like Peking duck. And studies clearly demonstrate they are effective. They can lower your LDL cholesterol, so-called bad cholesterol, up to 15 to 25%, which is quite significant. And the attraction of red yeast rice lies in the natural origin, uh, leading many to believe that it's safer and it's more reliable than prescription statin. However, because red yeast rice is a supplement, it's not regulated, the strength can vary significantly, and it might even be contaminated with harmful substances. And this lack of regulation means that different batches can have different doses, different potencies, and making it really difficult to figure out how much you are taking. And in addition, combining red yeast rice with prescription statins can increase the risk of side effects, including muscle pain and uh, liver damage. Number four, niacin, also known as vitamin B3, is available as a prescription drug, niaspan or niacor, and also as over-the-counter supplement, uh, nicotinic acid and nicotinamide, uh, and has been uh, garnered attention uh, because of its uh, cholesterol uh, lowering properties we've known for many years. They could improve your triglycerides, increase the good uh, cholesterol, so-called the HDL uh, cholesterol. And for many years we thought that adding a niacin to a statin therapy would actually provide additional cardiovascular benefit. However, we know now uh, the large clinical trials uh, have clearly shown that combining a niacin with statins does not further reduce the risk of cardiovascular uh, disease. And high doses of niacin can lead to serious side effects, including liver damage and other gastrointestinal issues. And there's a concern also the risk of muscle pain and the rhabdomyolysis, a rare but severe condition that causes muscle breakdown and can lead to kidney failure and even death. So nowadays, if you are already on the statin, there is no reason to add niacin to it. Number three, berberine. Berberine is a compound found in several plants, including golden seal, barberry, and Oregon grape, and has been used in traditional medicine uh, for really centuries. And it's known for its cholesterol-lowering uh, properties. And uh, it can reduce the LDL cholesterol and the triglycerides, and even increase the good cholesterol, the HDL. And while berberine alone can be beneficial, uh, combining with statins, uh, may enhance the effects of certain statins, but could lead to increased risk of side effects, again, muscle pain and liver damage. Berberine inhibits the enzyme P450CYP3A4 that breaks down atorvastatin and other statins, raising its levels in the blood and potentially increasing its side effects. Number two, green tea. Green tea is widely acclaimed. Uh, for its numerous health benefits, including potential to lower your cholesterol levels, and contains natural antioxidants called catkins uh, that uh, lower your cholesterol and also 
helps lower your blood pressure as well. However, green tea can do two things to your statins. Number one, green tea can bind with statins in the digestive tract, decreasing their absorption. Number two, the catkins in green tea interfere again with certain enzymes in the liver as responsible for breaking down certain statins. To avoid this interaction, it's advisable to take your statin medication at least several hours uh, before uh, consuming green tea or green tea extracts. The timing would allow the statins to be absorbed into the bloodstream before the green tea has uh, a chance to interfere with its metabolism. And in addition, green tea can decrease the effectiveness of certain blockers like nadolol and blood thinners. And to learn more about the effect of green tea in lowering your blood pressure, watch this video, Three Amazing Teas to Lower Your Blood Pressure. I'll put the link above and on the description below. Number one, St. John's Wort. It's also known as Klamath weed or goat weed. Uh, St. John's Wort is a plant with yellow flowers that has been used in traditional European medicine to treat uh, mild to moderate depression and other mood disorder as far back as the ancient Greeks. And the actual name, the St. John's Wort, apparently refers to St. John the Baptist as the plant blooms around the time of the Feast of St. John the Baptist in late June. However, uh, St. John's Wort can interact with many other medications, including statin. In fact, St. John's Wort is a potent inducer of the cytochrome P450 CYP3A enzymes in the liver. These are the enzymes responsible for breaking down uh, certain statins. Uh, they essentially, they're gonna weaken the effects of these uh, medications in, and other medicines as well. And it's not just uh, statins. Uh, there's uh, evidence that weakens the effect of birth control pills, potentially leading to unwanted pregnancies and can reduce the effectiveness of also uh, anti-rejection medications like cyclosporin, medications taken to avoid organ rejection if you had a transplant. Your doctor can put you on a statin that is not affected by St. John's wort, like fluvastatin, less call, pitavastatin, levalo, rosuvastatin, restore. These statins are metabolized by a different enzyme in the liver and are not affected by St. John's wort or grapefruit juice. And to learn more about statins and grapefruit and grapefruit juice, watch this video on a statin, avoid these foods. I'll put the link above and on the description below. Here's the bonus tip I promised at the beginning of the video. Supplements may be sold regardless of their efficacy or even safety. Uh, while buying supplements, make sure they have the GMP seal. It stands for Good Manufacturing Practices. And essentially, it's a system to ensure the products are consistently produced and controlled according to some quality standards and avoids unexpected contaminants and incorrect labels and guarantees that what it says on the bottle is exactly uh, what you have on the pills or capsules that you are buying. However, be aware that GMP seal does not guarantee that it's effective or even safe. And consumers' new holistic approach to wellness is driving a supplement trend. People are using supplements for mental well-being, to increase their energy, their skin health, and female wellness. And there are other ways to lower your cholesterol naturally without medications. And to learn more, watch this video, say goodbye cholesterol with food. I'll put the link above and on the description below. And remember, your health, your most precious, as I said, take control. See you next video.